Hello and welcome back. In this session, we will take a look at our first APM program. In the last session, we have seen how to start up the entire setup. In this session, we will write our first APM program, which will interact with our APM server and which will in turn invoke a particular application on our Android virtual device. As an IDE, we are going to use Eclipse. So I have this Eclipse open uh, without ha having any project here. So I'm going to create a new project here. Select Java project, click next, provide the name here. And click on finish. Okay, once the project is created, go to the source folder, right click and select new and then package. We are going to create a package here. The name will be com.rajtechtrainer.com Okay, click on finish and inside this package we are going to create a new class new class provide the class name here and enable public static void main here click on finish okay as we have seen in the earlier session that we need to have a client program which will interact with our APM server. So this is the client program which we are writing. In order this client program to interact with the actual device, we need to provide the desired capabilities which will be sent to our APM server. As a first thing, we need to have desired capabilities here. Okay, it could be system. and later on the desired capability should include specific to the application itself which we are trying to invoke and finally we need to have android driver initialization so these are the three steps which we need to add in this client program okay before we add these steps we need to include certain libraries into this particular application okay what i have done here is i have created a folder called apm underneath that i have extracted apm selenium library which is the selenium java 3.141.59 so i have extracted this into this particular folder called apm selenium library and also i have commons language library extracted into this particular folder the set of jar files within these folders we are going to make use into our first program in order to add our libraries, right click on the project, go to properties, go to Java build path and uh, select the libraries tab here and click on add external jar. The first one is APM Selenium a library. So here we have few jars which I need to add. Along with that, I have some jars in the lib folder as well. So add them to, now I have added all the client libraries. Now I need to go to commons language and then add all the jars from there. And once you have added all the jars, click on OK. And we will have a, a reference libraries folder 
in which all our libraries which we have added just now will appear now we will go to our class file and start writing our first simple program the program which we are going to write here will invoke a calculator application on the android virtual device okay so first thing is desired We have created an object of desired capabilities here called decap. Once we have this object, then there is a function called set capability. Okay, we are going to make use of this set capability. Set capability will take key and value pairs. Either we can add key value pair or we can also make use of mobile capability type. Dot. Then we have a lot of parameters here. The one which we are interested is the platform name the platform name is android since we are dealing with android virtual device the platform name is android the second capability which we are going to add here is mobile capability type the device name okay the android virtual device which we have created we have given the name as tech trainer so these two are specific to the platform and the device now we need to set the capabilities for the application which we are trying to invoke okay the two capabilities which we need to add here is app package and app activity decap dot set capability and here we are going to provide string which is app package And the value will be value we will add it later on again decap dot set capability and the other one will be app activity and the value we are going to add now so for package and activity these two are important in order to specify which application and which activity for that particular application needs to be invoked for the calculator i already have the values for app package the value is com android calculator 2 and for app activity it is com.android.calculator2.calculator so these are important these two are very important how to get the app package value and app activity value for a particular application so we will see that in the next session okay so as a final step we need to have a driver initialization so here android driver and here it will be android element so web element will be for the web application so android element will be for android application okay 
AD is equal to new Android driver and we need to pass in the capability. The capability object is decap here. Okay, so let me add this. Okay, so now our client application is ready. But how does this client application know which APM server it needs to contact? Okay, there might be a few APM server it might be running. So how do we specify which APM server it has to contact or communicate? Okay, for that we need to add or specify the URL for the APM server. The APM server which we have here is on my local host which is 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 and the port is 4723. We need to specify the URL within the client program so that it connects to that particular APM server. Okay, so for that we need to provide URL of the APM server. So HTTP colon slash slash 127.0.0.1 and the port is 4723 4723 and web driver and hub so this is the url which it needs to communicate to so now let me add this import and let me also fix this by adding throws declaration here Okay, so now our client application is ready. So during Android driver initialization, we need to provide the URL where this APM server is running along with the desired capability. Let me run this program now. For this, what I will do is I will have this APM server as well as our Android virtual device side by side. Okay. To run this program, right click, run as Java application. Okay, so now our client program has in has started interacting with our APM server using json wire protocol and based on the desired capabilities it has opened up the calculator application on the android virtual device as you can see it here okay and the status code is 200 here so this is how we can write a simple program to invoke a particular application on android virtual device using selenium java client application in the next session we will see how to recognize the values for a particular application for these two parameters that is app package and app activity parameter thanks for watching